What did the Mets miss out on not getting Turner? Uh, Danny, I know the Mets want to give uh, at-bats to their younger players to find out what they really have. Brett Beatty, Mark Vientos, all that sort of stuff, and I get it. But I feel like Justin Turner would have been a great veteran presence for them. This is a guy, I admire him because he made himself into a really, really good major league hitter. You remember when he was on the Mets, it wasn't exactly the JT that we know from the Dodgers and Red Sox. Uh, he was a little bit of a much less productive player, let's put it that way. Uh, I, but he went and worked on his swing, uh, found a hitting guru that... Uh, spoke to him and it, it has worked out into uh, him becoming a very good player and I feel like that his the way he worked and made himself into that is something that the younger Mets and and some other more established Mets on the roster could have used because we are talking guys about a team that was criticized by one of their own last year for work ethic and I think Justin Turner would have helped clean a little bit of that up if it's not cleaned up already. Yeah I agree with that a lot. Brian Justin Turner's not going to put the Blue Jays over the top but he is going to be inserted into that lineup. How does he shake things up, and how does that lineup stack up in the American League East? I think Turner's actually going to wind up hitting cleanup in that lineup. I mean, that is a lineup that I think can mash. Um, you know, I, I like a lot about what you got Springer and uh, Vlad Jr., and they're going to put up some runs. I have some questions about their pitching. They don't strike me as a team that's gotten significantly better than what they were last year. They had 89 wins last year. That's right around where I see them, 88, 89 wins, contending for a wild card. They're going to be an annoying team, uh, you know, chirping from the dugout and making sure third base coach coaches stand where they're supposed to. So I see a lot of that still happening with the uh, Toronto Blue Jays. But they're going to be in the mix of it, and they're the wild card contender as they are right now. Listen, they have a lot of star power. Vladdy Jr., Bo Bichette. Now you go bring in Justin Turner. George Springer has played on winning teams. But the reality for the Blue Jays is that they have won absolutely nothing. I mean, you look at the Yankee Corps, and you can fairly critique the Yankee Corps, the fact that they have not gotten to a World Series. The Toronto Blue Jays can't win a playoff series. So until I see Toronto go and have serious success in the postseason, Danny, the way I look at the Blue Jays, to Brian's point, I think they're in the mix for the division. I think they're in the mix for the wild card. But they're a team that I don't look at with the same sort of pedigree, let's say, as the Houston Astros, who go to the ALCS every single year. The Texas Rangers, who, oh, by the way, won the World Series a year ago. To me, those are far bigger threats for the New York Yankees. And, oh, by the way, the young up-and-coming Baltimore Orioles who won the division last year.